starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. Brought to you by... Yeah, Marge. Lucy, a Mr. Winchell is on his way in. A Mr. Winchell? Okay, thank you. Come in. Good morning. I'm Paul Winchell. <laughs> Good morning. It's so nice of you to drop in. I'm Lucy Carmichael. Oh, how do you do? Uh, uh, I was told outside that someone here could help me. Oh, well, it would be a thrill helping a famous person like you, Mr. Uh -huh. Winchell. I always read your column. <laughs> no, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's Walter Winchell. I'm Paul Winchell. Oh, of course. But I knew you were famous. You were a ventriloquist. Yes, that's right. Uh, I don't know how I could get so confused when you're really one of my favorite entertainers. Uh, thank you. I just think you're so wonderful and so funny. Uh, I just get hysterical watching you and Charlie McCarthy. <laughs> uh, no, uh, that's, uh, that's Edgar Bergen. Oh, of course. You work with Charlie Mahoney. No, Jerry Mahoney. Yeah, Jerry, that's it. Oh, you know, another thing I love about you. I think you better quit while you're ahead. Oh, maybe you're right. Uh, won't you sit down? What can I do for you, Mr. Oh, Winchell? thank you. Well, uh, I'm thinking about opening up a savings account here, and uh, they told me that a Mr. Mooney could help explain the bank's interest rates to me. Oh, well, yes, he could, but he doesn't happen to be here right now. Oh. I'd be glad to explain our interest rates to you. Oh, fine. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, now then, uh, on savings account, our bank pays 5% annually. 5%? Yes, however, <laughs> if the money remains on deposit for over six months, we compound the interest on a quarterly basis. And this brings the interest to 5 and 3 eighths percent. Oh, I see. Well, yes, unless, unless the deposit is made after the 10th of the month. Now, in this case, the interest is five and one sixteenth percent. Oh, well, then another one. That word. is if you deposit more than $1,000 under our bonus plan. And it remains in the bank for one year, yet less than 18 months. See? Then the interest is compounded daily. Daily? Yes. And it amounts to five and three quarters percent. Oh, well, then another. Unless. <laughs> oh, when is your birthday? Uh, 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 December 21st. You're a Sagittarian. Yes, that's right. Well, you're a Sagittarian, and you are eligible for our birthday club. <laughs> yes. Now, our birthday accounts allow deposits of $5,000, uh -huh. and the interest is compounded every half hour. <laughs> And amounts to five and eighty-nine one hundredths percent. Five and eighty-nine one hundredths percent? Yes, sir. Providing that you return the set of dishes that we give you when you open your account. <laughs> Unless you prefer the electric frying pan or the hair dryer. <laughs> or you can have an automatic toaster, which is guaranteed for five years, or fifty thousand slices of bread, whichever comes first. <laughs> Would you like me to go over that again? No, once is enough. Oh. <laughs> well, I uh, certainly appreciate you explaining everything to me. Well, you're lucky that I was the one who took care of you because I'm one of the few people in the bank that knows about the interest rate. Oh, I could believe that. <laughs> well, uh, I think I uh, will open my account here, and thank you very much for your help. Well, uh, thank you, and, and Mr. Winchell, if there's ever anything else I can help you with, don't hesitate to call on me. Oh, well, thank you, and if I can ever help you, you just call on me. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> That's nice. Thank I hope you See you again soon. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Mr. Mooney's office. Oh, hi, Mary Jane. What? Oh, well, thank you, dear, but I can't make it Friday night. No, the bank is having its annual employees' dinner and show, remember? Yeah, Mr. Mooney's out right now trying to line up all kinds of celebrities to entertain at the dinner. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, thanks for calling anyway, dear. Bye-bye. Oh, hi, Mr. Mooney. How'd you make out? I didn't. You mean you didn't get anyone to entertain at the dinner? No one. Oh, I thought it was such a good idea, you calling on the celebrities in person. Well, they all turned me down. They had good reasons, but they turned me down. 
What good reasons? Well, Bob Hope is doing a show for the Girl Scouts in Pismo Beach. <laughs> Jack Benny is on a tour of Fort Knox. <laughs> and Dean Martin just had an operation. An operation? Yes, he had a brass rail removed that was pressing on the bottom of his foot. <laughs> well, I just don't know who I'm going to get. Oh, gee, aren't there any other movie actors you could call? Yes, yes, but they're all too busy running for public office. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, Mrs. Carmichael, don't you know someone who can help us out? Well, okay. now, now let's see, let's thing. see. We, we, we've already gone through our list of clients. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of him before? Yeah, who? Who? Oh, you know how a thing can be right under your nose and you don't see it. Uh, you don't see what? You know how a name can be right on the tip of your tongue and you forget it? Uh, what name? You know how sometimes you can't see the forest for the trees? Uh, what, what trees? How uh, sometimes you just... Oh, will you stop babbling and tell me who it is? The world's greatest ventriloquist, Paul Winchell. Oh, he's wonderful. Yes, he is. But how can I get him? I haven't even met him. Well, I have. He was in the bank a little while ago, and I helped him open an account, and he told me that he appreciated it very much, and if he could ever do me a favor, that I should call on him. So I'll go right over and call on him tonight after work. Mrs. Carmichael, if you can get him, I will see to it that you get a $50 raise. Oh, Mr. Money, $50. Uh, per year. <laughs> per year? That isn't even a dollar a week. Hello? Oh, hi, Gary. A golf game? Uh, no, I can't. I'm rehearsing right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, well, it's business, you know. How about next week? Great. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. Well, you certainly do need the rehearsal. I saw your lips moving. <laughs> oh, you funny little snail. I tell you, Snitchy, lately you're just absolutely incorrigible. How dare you say that I'm incorrigible? <laughs> that I'm in in <laughs> How come you can say it and I can't? <laughs> <laughs> because you're not as bright as I am. Now, you just sit right down here for a moment. Hello, darling. Well, hello, Tessie. Listen, I, uh, I'd like to talk with you. Oh, it's about time. You've been ignoring me all day. Well, I'm terribly sorry. Well, what do you want to say? Well, I uh, hear that you and your boyfriend went to a drive-in movie last night. Oh, yes, we did. We had such a wonderful time. Oh, it was so exciting. Those terrific love scenes. Uh, really? Yes. Tonight, we're going to go back and see the movie. <laughs> Oh, my boyfriend is so romantical. No. Yes. No. I tell him yes, he tells me no. Uh, you like the boys, I gather. No, I like the ones I gather. No. <laughs> Come in. Oh, hello. Oh, well, Mr. Winchell, I'm sorry. If I'd known your girlfriend was here, I... I'm not his girlfriend. Oh, excuse me, Mrs. Winchell. <laughs> I'm not Mrs. Winchell. I'm not married. Oh, I'm sorry. You're sorry. <laughs> well, I, I didn't mean to intrude. I'll come back later. Oh, no, wait a minute. You're not intruding. This is just one of my... Watch it, Buster. <laughs> oh, Mr. Winchell, you fooled me completely. Oh, thank you, Lucy. You remembered my name. Oh, well, it's hard to forget a girl with such beautiful, natural red hair. Natural? <laughs> <laughs> Tessie, that's not very nice. Now, Lucy, will you sit down? Thank Natural. You. It probably comes out of a peroxide bottle. <laughs> well, it certainly is nice to see you, Lucy. Well, thank you. I, I just thought I'd drop by and bring you one of the bank's calendars. And, oh, uh, well, thank you. Uh, maybe ask you a teensy-weensy little favor. A favor? Yes, you see, the bank is having a dinner at the Beverly Ritz Hotel Friday night, and, mm -hmm. and uh, we need someone wonderful like you to entertain. Oh, well, thank you for thinking of me. Uh, what do they intend paying? <laughs> paying? Oh, well, it's, uh, it's sort of a benefit. A benefit? For a bank? <laughs> yeah, well, to be honest, it's kind of a benefit for me. <laughs> yeah, my boss promised to give me a raise if I got you to come in and see Oh, how much of a raise? The dollar. <laughs> Boy, he must be one of the last of the big spenders. Yeah, at the bank, 
we call him Diamond Jim Mooney. <laughs> well, okay, I'll entertain at the dinner, but I won't do it for Mooney. I'll do it for you. Oh, thank you. You're so wonderful. You don't know what this means to me, getting a wonderful ventriloquist like you to entertain. You know, I've always been fascinated by ventriloquism. Have you really? Yes, I have. Well, you know, it can be a very, very interesting hobby, especially for a woman. Why? So you can always be sure of having the last word. <laughs> oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> well, Lucy, we ventriloquists do have an advantage. We can talk to our little wooden friends and say anything we want about anybody. And uh, it's a great way to let off some steam. Oh, boy, I could use one of your little wooden friends around the office. <laughs> Gee, have I got a boss. <laughs> I like to tell him a thing or two. <laughs> Are they very expensive? Where can I buy one? Oh, you don't have to buy one. I'll lend you one of mine. Would you? Why, of course. Oh, that's wonderful. Go ahead, take your pick. Which one would you like? Take my pick. Any one you want. Oh, for heavens. Oh, look at them. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot, honey. <laughs> what are you saying, thanks a lot, honey? She's talking to me. <laughs> uh, come here, you gorgeous hunk of stuff. <laughs> Uh, your hand. I kiss your hand, madame. Mm. Oh, oh, cut it out, Casanova. I'm the head guy. Yeah, what a head. <laughs> I seen a better head on a glass of beer. Oh, I guess you think you're kind of cute with that cockamamie kitter. <laughs> oh, look who's talking. Is that your face or are you ad-libbing till Halloween? <laughs> oh, so you want to get tough, do you? All righty. There. Ooh, oh, oh. oh, would you like to have an egg shampoo? Here you are, kiddo. Here you are. Why, you, you, okay, here's one for you, kid. Oh, you want to start in, eh? Here's my calling card. Now, wait a minute. Yeah, here's one for you. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Will you wait? Will you both wait? Will you wait one moment, please? Don't you see I have company? Yeah, and what company? Yes, he's got a friend for you. Sometimes even I forget that they're nothing but a couple of brainless dummies. Who are you calling brainless? to extend the loan, provided all conditions pertinent. Mooney speaking. Mr. Cheever, sir. Yes, I was the one who got Mr. Winchell to entertain at our dinner, sir. Well, thank you, sir. Well, if you're happy, sir, I'm happy too, sir. <laughs> Are you a bonus? Well, yes, sir, thank you, sir. Of course, sir. I can come to your office right away, sir. Yes, sir. Immediately, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I'll be back in a few minutes, sir. <laughs> I mean, Mrs. Carmichael. Did you hear that? How do you like old Fatso taking all the credit? <laughs> Oh, now that's not nice. It's not nice, but it's true. <laughs> the fat brat thinks. Oh, Miss 
Mr. Mooney isn't fat. He's just a little flabby. Just a little flabby? He looks like he cornered the flat market. <laughs> Mr. Mooney's office. I have a person-to-person -person call for Lucy Carmichael. Lucy Carmichael speaking. Go ahead, Las Vegas. Hello, Lucy. Yes? Uh, this is Paul Winchell. Mr. Winchell, what are you doing in Las Vegas? Don't tell me you can't appear at our dinner. Old fat soul will fire me. He'll kill me. Now, calm down, Lucy. I'll be at the dinner. But the dinner is tonight. Well, I'll be back tonight. That's why I'm calling you. Oh. You see, my plane doesn't arrive in Los Angeles until 9 o'clock, so you're going to have to do me a favor. 9 o'clock? Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. Anything. Anything at all. What? Okay, now, you go to my apartment, yeah. get the keys from the manager, pick up the dummies, and bring them over to the dinner, and I'll meet you there. Oh, go to your apartment, get the keys from the manager, pick up... Okay, don't worry, I'll have them there. Anything else? No, that's all. I'll see you tonight. All right, Paul. Yes? Uh, I'll meet you at the back entrance of the Beverly Ritz Hotel. Very good. Okay, 9 o'clock. Right. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, for heaven's sake. What's the matter? I forgot to turn off this tape recorder when I left the office. Oh. <laughs> Now, let's see, where was I? Uh, uh, what are you doing? Uh, well, I'm going to change your tape. Why? Well, you, you, you don't want to use an old tape. Why not? Uh, well, you know the proverb. What proverb? It's a famous saying. Uh, if a tape you use and use, someday you will blow a fuse. Well, Mr. Carmichael, I think you have blown your fuse. <laughs> Throw your hand off that. Get away. Get away. Go, go, go. Yes, sir. Let me see now. Let's see. How do you like old Fatso taking all the credit? <laughs> now, that's not nice. It's not nice, but it's true. He's a fat the right thing. <laughs> he's just a little flabby. A little flabby. He looks like he cornered the flab market. So I cornered the flab market, did I? Who was that? Well, uh, oh, please, please, Mr. Mooney, now don't make me become a stool pigeon. You'll either be a stool pigeon or a dead duck. <laughs> Well, now, wait a minute. I, I, I don't want to mention any names. I'll just say that, that the, the person who insulted you was just a brainless, wooden-headed dummy. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Carmichael. Fortunately for you, you defended me. Oh, you know me, little loyal Lucy. <laughs> Mr. Winchell? Yes? Oh, on behalf of the bankers, I want to thank you, sir, for coming here. I'm Theodore J. Mooney. Oh, Diamond Jim. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Uh, never mind. Uh, where's Mrs. Carmichael? Well, I, I, I don't know. Uh, but it's getting rather late. Can we start the show? Uh, well, not until Mrs. Carmichael shows up. Oh, why not? Well, she's bringing over my little friends. Your little friends? <laughs> my dummies. Oh, oh. Oh. Hi. Hello, hi, Lucy. Have fun in Vegas. Oh yeah, great. I'm sorry, I'm a little late, but there there was an awful lot of heavy traffic. Uh, Hello, Mr. Mooney. Hello, Lucy. <laughs> yeah. Where are the dummies? What? Where are the dummies? Oh, they're right. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, well, didn't you pick them up? Uh, yeah, yeah, I picked them up. I, I brought them over here in a cab. Well, well, then where are they? Well, I, they look so human. When I got out of the cab, I thought they were going to follow me. Follow oh, <laughs> you? Maybe the cab is still there. But, Lucy, boy, what a spot to put me into. How could she do a thing like that? It's your own fault. You shouldn't have trusted your dummies with my dummy. <laughs> the cab is gone. Oh, so are you. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, Mr. Cheever, and the other members of the bank board are sitting out there waiting for a show to begin. And unless a show begins, you are finished, dismissed, through, kaput, canned, hired, and sacked! Uh, Mr. Mooney? What? Does that mean I don't get my dollar? I right? sure. <laughs> well, 
Well, what are we going to do? Well, I don't know. I can't go on without the dummy. Oh, now, wait a minute, Mr. Winter. Please, don't leave. Well, what'll I do, Lucy? Well, 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 maybe you could do a few magic tricks. No, I can't do any magic tricks. Well, can you sing? No, I can't sing. Oh, could you juggle? I can't do anything without the dummy. Please, please. Lucy, what will I do? Maybe you could dance a little well, or something. I can't even dance, Lucy. Dance a little couple of No. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paul. Take another bow, a nice big bow, Tessie. Take a bow. Uh -huh. Very, very good. <laughs> now, Tessie, I want to tell you that all of the people in this large and wonderful audience are very pleased to meet you. Oh, likewise, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, uh, Tessie. A uh, lot. Uh, is that perfume I smell? It is, and you do. Don't talk. Oh. <clears throat> uh, well, it's a wonderful perfume. Oh, it costs $50 an ounce, and it's called... Perhaps. Perhaps? Uh, for $50, it should be positively. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Well, I, uh, I'm sure that it would make a fine impression on your boyfriend. We're, we're not seeing each other anymore. No. I tell him yes, he tells me no. <laughs> well, what happened between you and your boyfriend? Oh, he's so insulting. Last night he told me to fix the wrinkles in my stockings. Well, what's wrong with that? I wasn't wearing stockings. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, no. Again, he says no when I say yes. <laughs> well, I'm sorry that you broke up with your boyfriend. Oh, it's just as well. We didn't get along lately. Well, why not? Well, he had water on his knee, and every time I sat on his lap, I floated away. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have water on your knee, too? <laughs> Um, Lord Jesse, uh, let's not uh, discuss our personal affairs. Uh, we're here to entertain this wonderful group of people. You know, they're all in the banking business. Oh, that's wonderful. I can sing a medley of banker songs. You mean you know special songs for bankers? Sure. Your dime is my dime. <laughs> well, you better not sing that type of song. So what'll we do? Well, I don't know. Uh, what does this audience want? What does the audience want? Should we be jokey? Or would be hokey? Should you act girlish? Or Milton Burlish? <laughs> what does the audience want? Tell us, what does these bankers all want? Should we be loony? Like Mr. Mooney? <laughs> She's got a hanker to kid that banker. Oh, tell me, what did these banks... I know. What? I could drink some tea simultaneously while my partner sings. Sing. The Andy Doodle went to town just to ride a pony. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> We talk money, or just be funny. I tell you, we're here to please you with things that we do. We'll never teach you, get off in a shoe. What does this lovely audience, what does this lovely audience, what 